say no to one of the playoff games in November of 2006 and stepped on the football field and I can tell everybody was looking at me and my wife and like, who, who are they? And the way the church set up the interview was, we're going to connect you with people. And the first people I was connected with was Ted and Evelyn Gibbs. And the way the church set it up for us to visit around and get to know people is they said, here's what we want you to do. Every night or every two nights, you're going to go stay at a house of a person within Dufer. So it wasn't a hotel. It wasn't the Balch. It wasn't in the Dalles. It was, you're going to stay with the pastor and his wife one night. You're going to stay with this person, this person one night. And you're going to stay with Ted and Evelyn Gibbs one night. And in that, I don't know how much we connected because it was just a whirlwind of trying to figure out who I was, my new wife of six months, and being asked 500,000 questions. What do you believe and why do you believe it? Can you survive here in this little small town? Do you like mushrooms? I, I don't know. It's just a bunch of... A bunch of questions, and uh, that conversation did come up through the years. Do you like mushrooms? Do you like dogs? Do you like family? Do you like love? Do you like sweetness? And it's through my interaction with Ted and Evelyn that I discovered what a true Christian was, someone who quietly served, loved their spouse, loved their children, said, hey, do you want to go up to the mountain with me? And I went up in the mountain with Ted quite a few times, and he always knew the way home. Uh, There's a couple times I was with him, and he's like, let's go up here into this crag, and you take a ride at this crag, and then you go over this down log, and then you circle around this forest road. And at one point, I was like, where are we? And I'm going to have to rescue a 70-year-old man from the woods. And the inverse is actually he would have to rescue me. I know the way. I know the road's right there. We just have to go over uh, this marsh and then down through the pines here. I know where I am. And the same thing with Evelyn, just showing the way to live, of sitting with her and saying, hey, this is my my dog, Sadie. Well, what do you do with Sadie? Well, we go and we sit in hospitals, and we love on people, and and Sadie calms them down. I'm able to have uh, conversations with them. And so they paved the way, sh- showed the way, and invested in my life. And as anticipated, we're at standing room only, or almost. Uh, so there's a spot here and a couple spots there. Uh, but So if you need to come up here and need to get a closer glimpse, that would be great. But we're here to celebrate the sweetness that they were and the sweetness that permeated the lives in this room. So thank you for being here. I'm going to hand it over to the family now. I'm going to take care of uh, the sound stuff. But I'd love to pray uh, for this time and to remind you that if you want to get together and listen to the Doofer Boys, uh, downstairs right after this, there's going to be some cookies and coffee uh, and, and enjoying the, the music investment that uh, Ted and Evelyn had in their life that infused us with joy. So let's pray. <laughs> God, we thank you for two individuals that showed the way, uh, whether that was up on a mountain or down in the hospital, that they lived their lives well, and I can confidently say that when uh, they stepped into your presence, there was a big banner, um, a billboard, uh, maybe even uh, airplane riding in the sky of, of smoke, well done, good and faithful servants. So we thank you for them and that we have been able to get together and celebrate them both Uh, together. We thank you for their legacy and their family, and I thank you so much that as a a man who is newly married, that we stepped into a household in 2006 when we thought everybody was looking at us weird. Uh, They brought us in and loved us for that for that one night, and that solidified the ability to say, hey, this feels this feels like a place we can make a home in. So we thank you for their influence in Dufer and beyond. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.